You guys have glasses or without glasses? This, I'm, I... I'm not nervous. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Hey, I'm Haley, and I have no idea what I'm drinking today. Oh, we're tossing it. <laughs> oh, okay. So today we're drinking Threezy Does It, a hazy IPA. This is a toast to March Madness. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have tossed it. Oh, it's fine. That was you guys. <laughs> it's an IPA. Okay, today we're going to talk about using skills for a talent strategy, a skill strategy. Does your business have a skill strategy? Don't even know what that means? Today I want to tell you about the three keys to a solid skill strategy and how it'll help you find and develop talent, aka your people. The first way to use skills is to market job postings and match candidates. It's getting better with each step. How many times have you come across job postings that are confusing, lengthy, unrealistic, or just flat out bad? probably too often, but they don't have to be. To fix this problem, you can use skills to understand and focus on what matters most to your company, instead of stuffing the posting with a long list of requirements. I like stuffing. <laughs> okay, I went like this and I was imagining like a turkey. <laughs> skills give us a powerful starting point for a clear, relevant job posting that actually connects to the people you're trying to hire so that you can fill those important roles effectively. And added bonus, you can figure out other cool things like how rare the skills you want are, who's competing for the same skills, and which new skills are emerging in the market. Skills make posting and searching better at the same time. Your next step to building a great skill strategy is knowing the roles within your company and cleaning up the job title mess that comes with them. I feel like I'm blinking a lot. Am I blinking a lot? No? Okay. Like we've said in past years with MC, lots of companies have way too many job titles, and sometimes the titles they use are too weird, niche or obscure. By cleaning up your job titles, you get a better picture of what you have, making it easier to go out and find what you need. When you add the right skills to the right titles, you find out which employees are qualified to fill those roles. This is great because you might already have the talent you need. Like, yeah, I'm like, mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> a strategy helps you see which skills people have, what their skill gaps are, and how you can move them into new positions. The third step in creating that killer skiller... <laughs> sounds like a band. Product title. The third step in creating that killer skill strategy is upskilling or reskilling your talent. Did you know that 86% of people desire new skills training from their employers? That's a lot of people. So where do employers start? You guessed it, with skills. By focusing on skills, employers can create the right learning and development opportunities for their people. Take the skill set and career path of a role, combine it with company goals, and you get a training and development plan that benefits the employee and employer. After all, investing in the long-term success of your talent is investing in your company. A win-win. I feel like my face was really weird. I was like, You're also hey, allowed oh. to. <laughs> All that to say, we care a lot about skills because they're key to a successful talent strategy. We could talk about this all day, but since it's happy hour, I'll stop here and sip my beer and tell you to check out our blog to learn more. Nice. This is Beer with MZ. Happy Friday. I'm all out of beer, so I guess that's it. This is a real Beer with MZ.